Alright, this is problem number 9, exam form code A. <clears throat> and the question reads... Let f of x equal 4 minus x. Find its inverse and its domain. Alright, so the inverse basically means you're going to flip the x's and y's. Um, f of x is also known as y, so you can rewrite this as y equals 4 minus x. Now you want to flip the x's and y's to find the inverse, so you're going to get x equals the square root of 4 minus y. And now you want to solve for y, so to do that you're going to square both sides to get rid of the radical here. x squared 4 minus y. Now you want to subtract 4 onto both sides. Get rid of the 4 here. And now you want to multiply both sides by negative 1 to get rid of the negative in front of the y. And so our final answer for the inverse is going to be a negative x squared plus 4 equals y, which is the same thing as 4 minus x squared equals y. And this y is the inverse, so we can convert that back into f of x notation. Alright, so this is the inverse. Now it asks us for, to find its domain. Now the domain of the inverse is the range of the original function. Now the range of the original function, this radical, can, this, this function can never be a negative number. The lowest this function can be is 0, and that's when x equals 4. And it can extend off to infinity, like if you had negative 100 for x, you would have a really large number there, and it just goes off to infinity. But the range can never be anything negative, meaning you're, on your graphs there, if you, if you graph this function, you can never have anything below here. This graph sort of looks like this. It's, a, it's the uh, graph of a rooted function. It, it can never be negative. So the range is going to be from zero off to infinity. So since that's the range of this original function, that means the domain of the inverse is going to be from 0 to infinity. And that's your final answer. And that corresponds to answer choice A.